How the f*** do I change my theme? So you found your perfect theme, now you just need to get it on your Shopify store. If you found your theme right on the Shopify theme marketplace, whether it's a free or a paid one, uh, then it's going to be a pretty effortless process to get it changed on your store. Getting your theme from a third party source, I guess it can be a little trickier, but overall it's a pretty effortless process as well, you just have to go through one extra step of uploading it. So if you are using a theme from a third party source, you're going to have to upload the entire zip folder to your Shopify admin in order to use it. Easier said than done, right? Well, let me walk you through both processes. But first, consider subscribing if you're passionate about e-commerce. On a daily basis, I'm uploading videos of tips, tricks, and hacks to help you succeed with your e-commerce stores. But let's jump into it. Navigate over into your Shopify admin. And from here, we got to go down to the online store button. Once we click on online stores, it's automatically going to bring us into themes. Um, again, this is just a trial store, guys. I'm not using this as an active one if you've been following along in the other videos in the series. But from this point, if you're using a theme that's directly through Shopify, come down to theme libraries, and you can go to the theme store, or you can explore the free themes right here. Then uh, you would obviously click on explore free themes. Like I said, this part's simple. Sometimes it's just easier to see it than to try and do it on your own. So if we go through here and we just decide that we like simple, we'll click simple and all you have to do, uh, choose your variation obviously, and then add the theme. And it adds it right to your store. Very, very simple process, right? Luckily this is gonna be a short video so you guys won't have to deal with too many of those puns. So once it gets done uploading, you can come in here to actions. You can preview it. If you wanna just see what it looks like beforehand, uh, and once you're ready to make this your primary theme of your store, once you determine it's a good theme and you have everything customized the way that you want it, you would come in here to Actions, right up to Publish, you would publish it, and then it'll take a second to load, Publish, and then uh, it would pop up right here in your current theme section. Customize brings you into the back end of the theme where you can uh, customize everything. So you can go through all the different sections, all the theme settings. You can plug your social links in here. You can add additional sections onto it. You get the gist of it. So we'll go back to the admin. So if you're using a theme from a third party source, it's a little bit of a different process. Uh, if you guys took advantage of that deal on the theme that I plugged in the last video that I use on all of my stores, I'm going to drop it down in the description again here, a link for it. But it's a, it's a theme that I use on all of my stores. Awesome theme, very, very high converting sales funnel. Uh, the conversion rate, man, is it's, it's usually between a 2.5% to a 4%. So it's above industry average. It's not really a widely used theme either. But uh, let's say you wanted to take advantage of that offer. You got in on that, and then you want to upload it to your store so you can start customizing and changing some stuff around. I'll just right, right over here to upload themes. So after you would download it from a third-party source, you would upload it, choose the file. So it's important that rather than clicking on the internals of the folder here, we want to upload the entire folder itself. The folder has to be a zip locked folder in order for this to work. So you can't click on things inside the zip folder. It has to be the entire thing in order to upload it to your store. So once you select it, you would upload the theme. And then this one takes a little bit longer to load in because it has to download all the files from the folder to your admin. Uh, so uploads, it's going to load for a second here. And again, it's going to be the same thing as uh, when we went through getting the theme directly from Shopify. You can come over to Actions when you're ready to, well, it'll post in a second. Uh, when you're ready to actually publish this to your store, you start using it to make it the visible theme. You would do uh, Actions, oh, there it goes, Publish, same thing as Preview. Uh, you can come in, you can customize it. Uh, but that's really not that hard of a process. Next, we're going to jump into some important principles you have to have on any Shopify theme that you're going to have on your store, the customization side of the sales funnel. Make sure you stick around for that video because that's what's next on deck. Should have it popping up right there. Go ahead, click it. Check it out. Look, this was a short video. If you want the valuable stuff, it's, it's right up there. Go ahead. It's right over there. Go get it. Go on, click on it.